What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the Wall. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, we are storming towards Paris. I've decided that I need to do some offensive work in order to, to try and maybe broker a peace with Sweden. Without further ado, let us attack. Yeah, usually the AI will... Well, so usually, sometimes the AI will go for peace if they have a... If they suffer a large loss. If they go through and experience a, a major defeat. Or... Well, major, well, yeah, major defeat. If they lose, if they lose a large portion of, if they lose a large chunk of their territory, and you immediately go for peace, sometimes they go for it. If we do, well, I might attack here and then attack in northern Italy as well, if possible. But the guards and my Swiss line to be ready to come through the front. Actually, no, you've got to go around the, around the flank. So these guys are all gonna. Hide in the woods. Good, they're all hidden, so they can't be shot at with artillery fire. My infantry is going to hold position, and my cavalry are also going to be ready to go in the breach. Although, don't see any open doors. Let's get ready to uh, pick artillery and quick climb targets. Um, let's just let them fire their first volley as and when. then pick. You want to go for that chunk of militia, you go for that regiment of foot. The other. Hmm. Sometimes if you go for the... Start dropping shots into the centre with round shot, just for now. Let's speed up time a bit because right now we're just trading a bit of artillery fire here and there. Um, we've got to Knock down the fort. Just one second, everyone. The most, one of the most unfulfilling things when you're about to sneeze and, you just, and you're not able to. But it looks like my spy has actually demolished some of the gates. So when we attack, we can do a bit of a through the breaches, through the gate, send some cavalry around the flank and come in both the other entrances as well at the same time to prevent any or too many bottlenecks. But firstly, we want to knock knock a hole in this section of the wall first. To be honest, it looks like the round shot isn't doing very much at all, so... I don't know, just as soon as I say that, the shot lands in the centre and knocks a general's member of staff off of his horse. But we do need to play this carefully because we do want to minimize our losses as per usual so hopefully by knocking down the gate or knocking down uh, breaching the wall we will force them to reallocate their resources and hopefully deploy towards the breach to defend it. So the, mem the members of the ninth have actually taken quite a few losses from Quickline. So let's probably pick more over here to start off with. To bombard with Quickline shells, because if you get a good hit here, that's a hell of a lot of... It's a hell of a lot of men. Oh no, the shells are coming in. Right when I went the wrong way. Yeah. That's some... That's some good hits. But is our round shot going to town on... This section of the wall it is... Because bear in mind we've got lots of mortars. And my shotgun is there. Pretty badly damaged. There we go. Ah, the quick climb's starting to do some real damage. 
then afterwards I'll probably switch them all to round shot and they can bombard the centre of town. There's no point setting them to do counter battery work because it's never no never very good. They're keeping a solid core of line infantry to the rear. Another volley of foot artillery is coming in. Yeah. Yep, should be able to trap the Farlock Arm citizenry up there and probably damage. No. Probably damage or maybe destroy. Well, well this unit's already pretty destroyed. But yeah, until the wall's down, we don't really get this howitzer to also target this section of the wall. Because we might be able to collapse it while a large chunk of armed citizenry is crossing. One more volley from the foot artillery. We'll do it. Here it comes. Boom! I don't know who they're firing at. Okay, some more. Uh, drop some more shots. So we've, been, we've dropped artillery on the horse, on their uh, Grenadier Guards, and it looks like they might, they're going to come out and charge us. Or well, at the very least, they're going to change position. Nope, they're coming right at us. Horse. What if we click off? What do they do there? Okay, you need to charge them, just to hold them up. For my no, for my other cavalry to get into position. Yeah, there he goes. He's broken though, not not shattered, so they could come back. Retarget my howitzers onto the general. that's managed to get my to make the game be unhappy so who's up here garrison units armed citizenry Got lots of mortars, so we need to be ready at, in all in all directions. What if I pause, and zoom? I don't know. Someone's trying to do some funky pathfinding somewhere. Probably these guys at the back. Keep dropping shells on the general. So we're going to send some grenadiers through the front. Some guys are going to have to climb the walls to take care of these guys. I'm going to send some guys around the rear. Yeah. 
We're gonna do some good damage, because mortars always do. Some grenadiers going up the the walls. I think one of these fellas doesn't really have any orders. I think it's just you. Get a regiment of horse out on the flank, and then I'm going to sprint him in to try and hit some of these mortars quickly. Just try to hit all, hit all positions. There every position at once. It's a lot of grenadiers. I suppose it doesn't help they're marching up in this like weird... that's gonna hurt. Let's see if we can charge through the maelstrom. To be honest, you're going to come in here and attack some of these mortars as well, alongside the grenadiers. Same here. There we go. Everyone run in. out the mortars. You guys go and attack that garrison line. Give them some support. These guys aren't going to last very long, but they're holding up a hell of a lot of enemy infantry. Hey, my, car my car of cavalry actually routed. You guys charge on, try not to get called out by the door. You guys can charge the militia. You don't waste your time going through that door. You hit the militia. These guys run around and hit this garrison line infantry unit in the rear. There you go, some grenadiers at their backside isn't what they want. So Swiss line is good, that in the melee. So you do need to be careful. Kill the blunder by shotgunners. The men here should be doing okay. There's a lot of armed citizenry though. Okay, let's stop my howitzer shooting. It's doing no one any good now. Let's get this cuirassier unit over here to try break. Try break these fellas. Because I think the centre is well catered for.
Still eager, but then again, they are trying to defend... Not their home, exactly, but... Kill this guy and I don't have to worry about him anymore. Hundred and four men, eighty one. Don't worry about the general. Break the core of their infantry now. These men want to charge over into this combat because we've got not very many Grenadier Guards holding this line. Grenadier Guards and Lion Infantry. Can you kill that one garrison unit? and 48. Yeah, we're going to just about win on the wall. Go for the General Field Marshal of the Army. These guys are doing very well on the walls. against the militia. These guys stay where they are. Just to keep the ticker going. Everyone else, just engage who is left. See, when the AI works out, these men can fire into the combat, then things just might be a bit more difficult. So you know what, it's going to we're going to, we're going to lose a lot of men trying to capture Paris. Just attack the militia, just hold them up. Last handful of men. So Swiss infantry does get bonuses for melee combat. Though to be honest, these men there aren't many uh, Swedes here. Look how many have been killed by our grenadiers charging in the rear. Excellent decision. I don't want these guys to shoot or do anything. This guy is outside the rings. So there's no point shooting at him because they'll just miss and hit my guys in the combat behind. Ah, I, thought that, I always thought that was my general back there. Okay, you guys also help against these last three men, but there is the city. End battle. We'll take that. Moscow, not Moscow, Paris is ours. We lost a lot of men to do it, though. And they do hate us. Where's the university? Let's knock down the university. We'll more or less get them back to... Back to normal. Can't build anything because we have no money. Oh, we've got Turin. Okay, perfect. Sweden. Peace. Peace and trade. They've just offered me the same thing back. Peace and trade. Yes. So now, all their armies have teleported out, back to their lands here. We've bought a temporary peace with Sweden. I mean, and it truly is temporary. Because we're at war with... I mean, we're at war with Russia. But I'm actually inclined to let them finish building these buildings for me. 
So Orlean is being destroyed and that will bring Paris into the fold. Seville could do with being upgraded. I don't really not really bother with diamond, but the trouble is is we're all quite it's all quite late game tech now, so a bit irrelevant. Yeah, don't worry, Russia, I've not forgotten about you. This army's gonna come up and take you out. They could launch an army onto the rear and Archangels can start to open up a new flank. I do, have this, I do obviously have this option here at Athens, but... Well, let's hit N10. If anything, I'd like to make peace with Russia, but obviously I can't do that while they have troops in Scotland. I need to get my territorial integrity back. Yeah, I'm going to steal some of my technology. Yep, but I want that Swedish fleet to leave the Med. And I do need to build up a fleet in Cadiz to block the strait and make it so that no one passes without my approval. And that does mean we have a new front line. Workers are on strike in France, but now they're okay. We just spend a bunch of money repairing all this stuff and replenishing this army. And also taking this army, which I cannot replenish. Probably leave, drop the militia over to Venice, take the one of these line infantry okay. to Turin. Do you have a general? No, you don't. I'll take all you guys and drop you into Venice. Ah. You can stay in Verona. So now this army can march up to here and start to hold the front line. I can do with... some ships to protect that port but I don't think I'm going to get it. Let's cluster these guys together. So I've got one navy. To be honest, that's a fairly good navy. Although I want a... I know what. If this navy is going to take up residence here in the naval hospital, then my militia, you can march over to Cartagena. Because now my zone of control controls the strait. Which means that this army can't cross into Gibraltar unless they uh, blockade my port. John Church, you're still alive. So Bologna has a new university. Tatooine has a craft workshop. Yeah, right now we do have a money problem. Yeah, let's try trade with Britain. And let's try trade with Denmark, even though they didn't want to. I am look is I do want to look to the Americas as well. So maybe this respite might give us what we need to go and land in Cuba as a good as a good position to take. Obviously, you're going to stay here, ready to attack the Brits, should they act up. Obviously, you're here ready to act as a bulwark against Jerusalem, or against the, the Ottomans. You're going to infiltrate Jerusalem. Although, Mr. Defendi, who's been here since the start, you can probably sit more like here. Okay, three more turns till we get uh, assembly. Interchangeable parts, that's the one. And now we can start to do some of the higher grade industry tech. So after he's done interchangeable parts, they're going to go straight on to free trade doctrine. Recruitment in Med, recruitment in England. You march up to Piet Pietro Castro. 
the next turn take back take back Edinburgh obviously we don't have the firepower to take out these ships I mean third and the fourth now, as, as you said before it's a question of money and I'm tempted to knock this back down a shade to help spur growth we lost 5,000 but the idea is to reduce our tax burden such that uh, we make it up in the long run or the longer run so if you've got anyone that's plus one treasury plus one management minus two this is four base so if this goes four base he reduces clamor for reform but he reduces happiness of the lower classes this guy's not bad. These guys aren't bad because they're just flat. They have no impact. <gasps> Plus one management army. Okay. This guy is going to... I'm going to swap over with him because this guy just... He reduces clamor for reform, which is good, but he also redu increases... No, reduces uh, the lower class happiness. Whereas this guy increases happiness of the lower classes. I'm not happy about the upper classes because we are a constitution... We are an absolute monarchy, so they should be... You know, they'll be pretty damn happy regardless. But yeah, plus 23. <laughs> plus 23, they've still got 22 resistance to foreign occupation, so they're really happy. There's another Royal Navy in Tripoli. They demand joint stock company for cadence marching. No, bad trade. Joint stock companies is a very powerful economic technology. And the Ottomans are growing in strength. Yeah, they're going to declare on us. <laughs> they are getting rather strong. But my hope is that Russia declares on them. That's the main... That's the main hope we've got. Russia or somebody declares on them to be honest the army that takes scotland they may go over to the americas to try and get some more trade resources and they'll start creating our own caribbean empire because as it stands we have no interests outside of europe which well, i mean europe north africa the european theater We've also got the Mughals whenever they decide they want to move on us. Workers on strike in Savoy. If I drop you guys to Turin. Yeah, they'll riot next turn, then they'll be happy. Okay, you can get a sloop, you can get a sloop. You march up to the border. Repair the commercial port. I need to get Paris firing on all cylinders. So how many happiness buildings have we got? Two. Three. Okay, we don't need three. Short term, that might cause a bit of an unhappiness hole, but I'll counterbalance those demolishing, knocking those down by upgrading this. Build the steam engine factory and build the Iron Masters works and also build Build the first rate ship of the line. Oh no, you guys don't need to silly. So you go to Nice. You go to Marseille. Cartagena is about to be occupied. Well, in fact, then you go back to the military dock. Parma doesn't really need to be... I suppose it does, actually. It, it is taking trade. Or it is forming a trade role. 
So you're a dry dock, you're a naval hospital. Don't really need two dry docks. Don't, don't really need three. I've got two already in London. In which case then I suppose this dry dock would be destroyed. And replaced with a trade port. Let's see if I can just demand their surrender. Nope. Well, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode, and uh, we're going to storm Edinburgh and take the territory back. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the assault on Edinburgh again. Cheers, everyone.